Michigan's Supreme Court handed former President Donald Trump a legal victory today. It ruled that Trump's name could, in fact, remain on the ballot for the upcoming Republican primary. CBS's Scott McFarland reports the decision comes a week after Colorado's Supreme Court took a different approach. Nearly three years to the day after January 6th, Donald Trump is tangled in a growing number of legal battles over his role in what happened that day. The Michigan Supreme Court today swatted away a request to prevent Trump from appearing on the state's 2024 primary ballot for allegedly violating the 14th Amendment's ban on supporting insurrection. The court order said we are not persuaded that the questions presented should be reviewed by this court. The decision is the opposite of one reached by Colorado's Supreme Court last week, which ruled by a 4-3 to three margin to strip Trump from that state's primary ballot. The FBI tells CBS News it's investigating threats against the Colorado justices amid reports of calls for their arrest or execution in the days after the ruling. With more than a dozen states now reviewing these types of challenges, the stage could be set for a review and decision by the U.S. Supreme Court early next year. Right now, uh, we have different results from different states. I think the Supreme Court's going to be concerned about that. Trump today said any attempt to keep him off the primary ballot is a pathetic gambit to rig the election and that Colorado is the only state to have fallen prey to the scheme. I don't think this is the last word. Potentially at some point in the future, uh, Mr. Trump is subject to a potential criminal conviction that could change the analysis under uh, Section 3 of the 14th Amendment. Today, special counsel Jack Smith indicated in a court filing he may call members of Congress at Trump's criminal trial and ask the judge to block Trump from arguing police were responsible for the attack on the Capitol. That trial is scheduled to begin March 4th, but it could be delayed as an appeals court reviews Trump's argument that he's shielded from prosecution by presidential immunity. Jerika, the U.S. Supreme Court has opted not to intervene and settle the dispute, at least not yet. All right. Well, stay tuned. Scott McFarland, thank you.